G'day guys, we've got a calculus question today. Specifically, we're going to be applying the chain rule to solve a related rates question. So what is the question? Well, we've got a remote control aeroplane is being flown in a straight line at a constant speed of 15 metres a second at a constant height of 20 metres. Find the rate at which the direct distance between the plane and the enthusiast is increasing at the instant the horizontal distance is 48. Okay, so what we need to do is, first of all, we need to write down all the things that we have. So to start with, let's label this side of our triangle X, and we're going to label this side of our triangle Y. So what we're going to do to start with, guys, is we're going to write down all the things or all the information we've been given. So to start with, we have been given the rate of change of X with respect to time. So we have been given dx dt, and that's going to be equal to 15 meters per second. And using this diagram here, guys, what we can do is we can quite easily, using the Pythagorean theorem, come up with a relationship between y and x. So, for instance, I can say that y is going to be equal to the square root of 20 squared, which is 400, plus x squared. Great, so what we've been asked to find, guys, in this particular problem is we've been asked to find the rate of change of y with respect to time. So what we're looking for is dy dt. And so to find dy dt, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the chain rule. Specifically, we're going to say that dy dt is going to be equal to change in y with respect to x multiplied by the change in x with respect to time. So we know this one, and we can find this one using the derivative of this function we've just come up with. So let's get to it. What I'm going to do first, guys, I'm going to rewrite this y in terms of x function as y is equal to, rather than writing a square root, to make it easier to differentiate, I'm going to say 400 plus x squared all to the power of 1 half. So when I take the derivative of this, guys, I'm going to get, well, dy dx is equal to 1 over 2 times the inside, 400 plus x squared. Take 1 away from the power to the power of negative 1 over 2 multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is simply 2x. So we can simplify this, guys, to make our lives a bit easier in the future parts of the question to simply... 2x divided by 2 times the square root of 400 plus x squared. Cool. So what we can do now, guys, is now we have the derivative of y in, with respect to x. We can substitute that as well as our initial, the rate of change in x with respect to time into our chain rule. And using that, we'll be able to solve our dy dt, which is what the problem is asking. So let's go about doing that. So we can say that dy dt is going to be equal to dy dx, which is this, 2x over 2 times the square root of 400 plus x squared times the derivative of x with respect to time, which is just 15. Cool. So this one here, guys, it's asking us to evaluate this when x is going to be equal to 48. So we're going to do that. So longhand, guys, I'll go through all of the working out with you. We're going to have 2 times 48 over 2 times the square root of 400 plus 48 squared, which is 2,304. We're going to multiply all of that by 15. And what we get then, guys, is if you're going to leave it in fractional form, we're going to get 180 on 13, which is approximately equal to 13.85 meters per second. Cool. Okay, guys, let's do a quick recap of how we got to this 13.85 meters per second for the rate of change of the distance of the plane to the operator. So to start with, guys, the best piece of advice I can give you is to write down the information that you're given in the question. So what we were given is that the speed of the remote control plane was 15 metres a second. 
and that we could use Pythagoras to relate x to y using the Pythagorean theorem. What we then did is I kind of like to write down the chain rule, guys, to make sure I know what information I'm going to be required to ensure that it all fits. So I wrote down the chain rule as well. I then rearranged or just converted this to a bracket so it was a lot easier for me to differentiate. I did do the differential so I could find the derivative of y with respect to x. I then had all the information I needed to substitute into my chain rule that I'd written down. I then substituted in my distance of x so I could get my instantaneous change in y. And then Bob's your uncle, make sure the algebra is right and you get your solution. So guys, I hope the video helped. If it did, please leave a thumbs up. Or if it didn't, or if you're having any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you like me to do any particular videos on particular problems, please also leave them in the comments section below. I'm always looking for new video ideas. But until next time, guys, just keep on banging your head against the wall. Eventually, the wall will fall down and you'll understand what the hell is going on. But just make sure in all of that head banging, you keep enjoying your maths. So I'll see you soon.